I'm Gary Porter and I'm uh, 51 years old and I'm, uh, I live in Midhurst, Ontario, which is just outside of Barrie. I have three lovely children, Pauline, Amy and Greg. I have three grandchildren, Courtney, Braden, and Mason. And I have a lovely wife, Beverly. My schooling consists of, I was, um, went to a technical school, which they, they um, to do trades. Um, I went out on work experience my first year and never went back. Um, I got a girl pregnant, ended up marrying her. So I was 16 when I got married and had a first child at 17. So I, I work for a family business. I, I do own it now, my brother and I, but at the time my uh, father owned it and I could never do the uh, clerical or the office work. I was um, always had to have one eye on the door just to make sure that if somebody was coming in, I could find something else to do. Um, I did not feel comfortable doing that. Uh, the spelling, um, I figured if I had to ask them how to spell their name or something that they'd see right through me. We used to write checks or, or pay with cash. Um, I used to take the kids grocery shop and my wife would work afternoons and I would sit out in the parking lot and even it was easy enough to IGA, but I would put IGA on that check just because once I got up to the till, I'd get hot, I'd get sweaty, I'd get nervous and I couldn't spell, I, I just draw a blank. So even putting IGA helped. Um, so then once I got it, I could spell or put the numbers, the numerals in there, but to spell the numerals, I, you know, I could not do it. So I would just have to sort of like they call it chicken scratch. To come to the Barry Literacy Council, I was uh, 40 years old and uh, just through my second divorce. And uh, my ex-mother-in-law was actually a tutor here. And um, so I knew about it just vaguely. Um, so I, I found myself coming home and drinking at night, coming home from work, because it was an empty house. I didn't know what else to do. Um, so then I realized, I said, either I'm going to become a drunk or I'm going to do something to better myself. So that's where I headed to the Barry Literacy Council to, uh, to, to start my journey. It was very scary coming into the office for the first time. But my fears were, were put to ease very quickly from the staff that worked here. Um, my assessor, you know, asked about the family and at that time my stepdaughter was going to university and she asked me to spell university. And I looked at her like, is this lady crazy or what? But with her sending it out for me, I was able to, to get through it and then, you know, sort of see that how how, you know, a big word like that, that I could actually, you know, sound out and spell. I was working with my tutor and I always had trouble putting things, sounding syllables out. And I worked on it and worked on it. And one, it was just one night I was working on it and it just, something clicked in my brain. I can't under, can't ex describe it. And from that moment on, look out, I was, had that confidence and I was raring to go. It was like I won a million dollars when I got my, my grade 12 equivalency. It's, uh, um, I went home and I, of course I was nervous because I was always one, one of the last ones to finish the test. All the other kids were younger. They were all kids and they were all younger. I was the oldest one there. But it wasn't until I got my envelope in the mail and it was like, I got my GED, I got, and I was yelling in the truck by myself. And I ran in the house and started screaming and jumping up and down. It was, it was like the best thing that happened in my life besides my kids. And, but yeah, it was just, it was the happiest, one of the happiest moments of my life. The executive director asked me, I was um, uh, doing a small group at the time. And she asked me, she said, we, we, we need a student to sit on our, our uh board of directors, would you be interested? And I said, me? What can I, I, what can I contribute? Like, I had no idea. So uh, the first few meetings were, were very nervous. I didn't really participate too much. I just seen what was going on. And then as time went on, I, I seen how I could give my opinion and the student's perspective on the board functions. And I learned that the board members had different skills than I had. But I had skills that the board members didn't have. So we're, we're all equal. Um, and that gave me confidence. And I, I stayed on the board 
for three or four years and then uh, moved up to vice chair and uh, to to chair. And I, I, I believe I'm the first one in Ontario that I know of anyways that was went from student to chair. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a that's you know, it's a nice nice thing to accomplish. I wanted to do it to show other adult learners that no goal is to you can achieve any goal you want to. You just have to put your mind to it. You know, it's it's just I, that's since I've had my grade twelve, I just want to give back to to the to the cause, to the literacy, and just in, try and inspire other adult learners to where I was, and they they can get from where they are now, and they can achieve any goal that they're they're after too. Volunteers, without volunteers, we would not have an organization. Volunteers are a big part, and. Like I say, without it, we wouldn't have them. They're just lovely people, and they want to help people, and that's what they're here to do. And uh, and I've seen, you know, the volunteers when they're working with their their students, they get a lot out of it too. And I see that, but I mean, without the volunteers, we would never. I would never be where I am today, and nobody would. I would just say that you'll get out of it just as much as the person that you're going to help. Um, it's a it's an awful it's an awesome feeling. Um, I just know from my volunteer work what it's like to to volunteer, and to actually see helping what you can actually help somebody. It's a really good feeling inside. And I would if I found somebody, met somebody with low literacy, which I have in my in my in my uh, where I've been, and I just tell them that just give it a try. Just you can't lose. It doesn't cost any money to come to this organization, literacy organizations, um, and you know you'll just start feeling better about yourself. You'll be able to, if you have children, you'll be able to help your children. Your children will you know break the cycle. If you go there and uh, I didn't have time to do my homework, I didn't do this. Well, then that's what you're going to get out of it. And uh, just remember, you, you, if you want it, you can get it. There's nothing that can, can stop you if, if you really, really want it. It's, it's a lot of years I've been involved, but uh, I'm not stopping here. <laughs>